Hey gang, welcome to my range. This is what I call the shootout at Ken's Corral. The range at one time was a horse corral, so I kind of converted into my shooting range. Not as sophisticated as Bill's range at the ranch in Texas, but I didn't have to import the sagebrush. It was already here. And the only thing I'll tell you, Bill, when you're walking around, you might want to watch where you're walking because I can't do much about the rattlesnake. But if you see one, you have my permission to blast it. All right. Okay? This is a drill, part of this series of the master class, Wilson Combat Series. And remember the theme now for some time has been low round count because the availability and now the cost of ammo is a limiting factor for a lot of people. So this is a six round drill. Now I, t I can tell people, you know, you shoot it for score and then you think, well, I need work. Then you can practice if you want to shoot more rounds. This is called the devil drill. It was designed by Larry Vickers and basically six, six, six. You're gonna shoot six shots at six yards in six seconds. That's what this drill is about. There's a twist to it. I'm gonna take Bill's empty magazine and I've got four rounds. When you practice, if you have your buddy or your wife or your kid or whoever's with you on the range, load the magazine with somewhere between one and four rounds. Now, let me put this in the gun. And out of curiosity, Bill, what gun are you shooting today? I'm shooting one of the new SFT-9. Oh, cool. Yeah, Matter of fact, what I've got. Same thing you're yeah, shooting today. Cool gun. All right, well, let's see how he does with this new gun. So what happens on the beep? He's going to draw to shoot six rounds. Somewhere in there, the gun's going to go empty. He doesn't know when. He's going to execute emergency reload and fire however many shots it takes to finish up with six rounds. Any shot out of that rectangle, that five and a half by seven rectangle, adds a second to his time. Remember, six seconds, pass or fail. Now, where everybody will say, well, how important is a quick reload? Let me put it to this way. If you ever need to reload your, a gun that's empty, you need to be able to do it really quick. That's kind of common sense. So that's why we're gonna make sure that ideally, you wanna have with this kind of a scenario, somewhere between a second and a half, two seconds to get that gun back in battery. Let's see how Bill does on this, folks. Remember, he's going to draw, shoot six shots. When he finds out the gun's empty, emergency reload and finish. And we'll give it a run. Bill, are you ready? Ready. All right. Shooter, stand by. Nice. Time of 5.67. They're all in. That's a clean run. Okay, that's how it's done. Now listen up. Don't be discouraged if you don't get it the first time. It's not, you say, oh, this isn't hard. It's not easy either. So this gives you a baseline to work from. Remember, don't compromise your accurate speed. I'd rather see you a bit late than have you throw bad shots. Remember, one shot costs you a full second. And if you're a few fractions of a second over, who cares? Get your hits. Practice this drill. It doesn't gonna break the bank. You can go out and do this three or four times, and the most you've shot, what, 24 rounds? So, good drill, take it to the range, try it. Good luck, see you down the road.